All right, this tutorial is mostly about past hopes and wishes. Uh, but before we do that, let's just do a quick review of what hope in the present and future looks like and wish in the present and future. So hope in the present and future expresses something that we think could be, could be possible. So for example, uh, I hope you understand this tutorial. That would be a present hope. And then to put that in context for future, uh, let's say I tell you that I am going to prepare a tutorial for you. I hope you will understand what I am saying. So a hope in the present, I hope you understand the tutorial. A hope in the future, I hope you will understand the tutorial. So there's this idea with hope in the present and future that the thing that you are hoping for is possible. Okay, let's come over to wish. Okay. Wishes in the present are talking about things that are not likely to happen, right? Um, and we're talking about things that are untrue in the present. So for example, oh, I wish I could go to Paris next week. I'd love to go to Paris. I wish I could go to Paris next week. So the truth is, I can't go to Paris next week. Okay, It's not going to happen. So that's a present wish. Uh, future wishes, remember, they talk about those situations where you're really hoping that something uh, will happen soon, but you don't know if it will or not, um, and that there's this idea of frustration, right? So let's say it's been minus 20 degrees or 30 degrees for a week or two weeks. We're just in a real cold snap. You could say, oh, I wish the weather would change. I'm so tired of this cold. Um, so there's this idea of frustration, um, and you're hoping that it would, uh, it, that this will happen someday, but, but you're not really sure. So that's hope and wish in the present future. And if you need to go and review that in more detail, then head back to the other tutorial. But let's continue with past hopes um, and past wishes. Okay, these ones, I think, are fairly straightforward. Um, but you never know, so let's just go through what's here, okay? So when we talk about uh, a past hope, uh, we can only hope about the past if we, if we don't know what's happened yet, okay? Uh, so let's say um, my mom was supposed to send me a package, okay? And, oops, let's get rid of this. Sorry, ah, erase. Okay, my mom is supposed to send me a package and in, in the mail, okay? And in that package, there's a card, and in, in the card, so here's her envelope, she's sending this to me, and in this card, there's some money, okay? Um, I can say, I hope uh, that she sent it, okay? I hope that she sent the card, okay? We don't know if it's happened yet. The thing that we hope for is possible, okay? So down here, it talks about the thing that we hope for is possible, but we just don't know the truth yet, right? And the reason we don't know the truth is because this hasn't arrived at my house. I hope that you enjoyed your vacation. I hope that you have finished. I hope that Tracy received my email. All of these things are things that are possible. We just don't know if they've happened yet. Okay? When we look at hope in the past, we can represent those hopes with verb tenses that talk about the past. Okay? So if we look here, what's this one? Okay, what verb tense is that? Okay. Are you thinking simple past? I'm sure you are. Pretty easy question, right? Okay, same with this one. What verb tense is that? Yeah, you're right. It's the present perfect. Okay, and we use both of these verb tenses to talk about things that happen in the past. Okay, so whether you choose to use the present perfect or you use the simple past depends on that thing that 
famous word. Oops. Context. Okay. So past hope. The thing that we hope for is possible. And back down here again. The thing we hope for is possible. We just don't know the truth yet. Okay. All right. Let's go on to uh, past wishes. When we talk about past wishes, okay, we're talking about things that uh, there's a certain amount of regret about. Okay. This is the key thing, or the key idea, about past wishes. Okay. We express regret about the past, and the thing that we wish for is impossible. Okay, this is really important. Okay. Um, so let's look at the examples here. I wish that I had studied harder before my exams last week. Okay. I wish that I had studied harder before my exams last week. Okay. So I wonder why this person wishes they studied harder. Hmm. Maybe they got a bad mark. Oops. Or a poor mark. Okay. And now the feeling is that they're sad about it. Okay. The person is feeling regret. Okay. So that comes down to this idea of regret and what we wish for, studying harder. Okay. This is what we're wishing for. It's impossible. Okay, why is it impossible? It's because it's too late. Okay, and when we take a look at this sentence, and if we want to represent it in the conditional, we would say, if I had studied harder, how would you finish the sentence? Yeah, possibly you could say, I would have received a better mark. Okay, but the truth is, okay, I didn't study hard. So I received A bad mark. Okay, so the red is the truth. The red is what really happened. So when we make a wish about the past, what we are doing essentially is wishing that what really happened didn't happen. And so down here, we can say, I wish I, whoops, I wish I had studied harder. Okay, if we go back to red again, and we talk about what the truth is, we come back to this idea of, I didn't study hard. Okay. So wishes in the past really are all about this concept of regret. Okay, of the feeling that you get when you wish you'd done something and you didn't, because now you know that you should have done it. Okay. If I had studied harder, I would have received a better mark. I wish I had studied harder. Okay, So this verb tense, what's happening in the language here, is this had studied is represented. This is why wish and conditionals are often taught together. Okay? Because there's a connection between the third conditional and wishing in the past. Right? We use the past perfect to represent this idea. All right, um, so let's go back here. 
Okay, there's another one here. Joe wishes that he hadn't bought that awful car. Okay, uh, because now he knows that it was, I don't know, maybe it wasn't, <laughs> I don't know what, there's a big huge accident here. Uh, maybe the the wheels weren't on properly, or it was the the metal on it, or the the body here it was just a really soft body, or it wasn't put together very well, or whatever. There's nothing you can do about it now. Okay, so the thing that he wishes for buying the car is over. It's done. He can't do anything about it. It's too late. Okay, it's too late for him. I wished that I had studied harder for my exams. You can't you can't do anything about it. It's done. It's over. Okay. So past wishes are are uh, are hard to deal with emotionally because you're like, oh, I wish that would have happened. I wish that 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 had happened. Yeah. Okay. So that's past uh, past wishes and past hopes. Um, if you pop over to the last page of your tutorial, um, so not here because this this website won't click here, but if you look on the PowerPoint presentation that's on Blackboard. Um, take a look at this website, okay? There is loads of practice here. Okay, so you can practice to your heart's content. And if you have any questions about that, you can let me know on Tuesday. Okay, all right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.